A coffee shop is a great place to hang with friends. The thing is, this crowd here at Westland's Willamette Coffee House is made up mostly of strangers. He tugged at my heartstrings. All of them tied. And it's turned into this magical story. To one guy. How can you not love him? How can you not love Chuck? Meet Chuck. I was just totally stunned. I mean, why? <laughs> Why me? A few years ago, Chuck Chancellor and his wife Christy were working and renting a house. One day, he, already a diabetic, had a heart attack. Later, she had a stroke. Plus, the bank foreclosed on their landlord. It all left Christy in a long-term care facility and Chuck in his van. My kids and I were going to go shopping at Ross and we were parking and this gentleman walked up to us. About a month ago, Joan Gaither spotted Chuck panhandling and asked why. It was him needing money just to go see his wife and telling me that he's lived in his car for three years and he looked like nobody cared about him. And I just knew that I needed to make sure he knew how important he was. With Chuck's permission, Joan took to social media. I said, uh, hey, hon, I spotted this post. And another stranger took to GoFundMe. While donations poured in, Greg Creighton offered Chuck a spare room in his office. Chuck was was easy to easy to help. Yeah, he's lovable. Yeah. Everyone's lovable to but he's especially so. Thanks to so many strangers, Chuck now has an apartment, car insurance, and today, you know, I can give. Another stranger showed up with a free futon. She just found his story relatable. Because I'm self-employed and I have two pre-existing conditions and I at any given moment could end up on the streets if I had a huge medical problem. You know, it could happen to any of us. It's still, you know, it's still you know, <laughs> overwhelming. Chuck still isn't used to all the attention. I mean, how did I get uh, lucky? He's just here to meet and thank the strangers, turn neighbors, who refused to leave him stranded. I've got people that's willing to help me now, but I'm, at the same time, I've got to help myself too. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas to you. Thank you. Maggie Vespa, KGW News. We are posting Chuck's GoFundMe account at KGW.com. So far, it's raised close to $3,300, and neighbors say they want to keep it going. Chuck is expecting disability payments to kick in, but not until February.